Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, I did have a look around after the last episode. Um, it's been a few days since I've recorded too. Um, I did have a look around to try and find a planet that was like, you know, three and a half, four skulls. And the only one I could find that was relatively close was Itrim. Um, that I know we can get missions at. Because really, it's Oregon Coalition and Pirates that we're going to get some good missions with. Uh, because everybody else kind of doesn't like us. So we're not going to get high skull missions from them. So I jumped here, and if we have a quick look at the command center, we got a lot of missions we can do here. Pull up a chair. So we've got anything from between like two and a half to four and a half skull missions. Plenty of stuff. I have to make sure though that the pirate missions don't um, all involve the Oregon Coalition because I don't want um, to lose good rep with these guys. So we can go kind of back and forth as long as we stay friendly with these guys. We'll still get like three and a half, four skull missions from them, so I have to be very, very careful. Uh, we're going to try and get up to ally stand, like our honored standard or allied standard with these guys, um, so we can get missions from both pirates and the Oregon Coalition, uh, and still have half decent um, levels. Uh, that means we'll be fighting against the Torians and um, the Capellans and primarily, but we'll see what else we can, who else we can fight against, and then the pirates. Of course, we can get pirate missions just about anywhere, but. If we were to jump into another system, um, like a Capellan system, the chance of getting a bunch of pirate missions are going to be very, very slim. So uh, we have to be aware of that. So um, that being said, the mission I want to do today is Breakout. Um, it's Attack and Defend. We haven't done one of these in a while. It is against Oregon Coalition, but we've got a bunch of their missions down here, which I'm going to take in the next few episodes to kind of boost this back up again. Um, so let's have a look here uh, in the mech bay first. Uh, there was a request after, I think it was episode 54, where we picked up the Battlemaster. People wanted to, were hoping that they would see what the Battlemaster looks like. I just wanted to make sure we had enough sea bills to be able to bring it forward. So I sold off a ton of stuff, some weapons that I knew we probably weren't ever going to use, um, or I was never going to personally use with the mechs we have. And if we, if we were going to go with that route, we can pick them up as we go along. Um, I didn't throw, I didn't get rid of any pirate stuff. We still have all that stuff. Um, just like, you know, Exostar medium lasers, like small, like, or sorry, medium pulse lasers, small pulse lasers, a lot of old cores, like anything below 210 is gone. Um, so we made a bunch of C-bills that way. Now, I don't think there's much difference between the last episode and this one. I did make a few minor tweaks. Uh, the mortise has been repaired, I think. Really, the only thing I really looked at was the Brokut. Now, I know Swarm Missiles um, are going to hit regardless of evasion. And I know, you know, indirect fire with the uh, um, incendiary ammo, I'm still going to take, or whatever it was called, uh, from the from the Thunder. Um, I knew I was going to take heat damage, right? There's not much I can really do about it other than jump away like we did last time and, and, and cool off. Now that last mission, the Brokut really couldn't do anything, especially against the vehicles. And I'm thinking, well, even if we were to jump in and shoot a couple times, it's really not going to do that much. So I decided to go a different route with this guy. So I rearmed it. I want to see how this works out. Um, so let's have a quick look. Uh, so the TSAMP cannon is gone. Um, and we've got, you know, I've got an AMS flare on here to help with missiles. Uh, to um, ER medium laser uh, bright blooms uh, 30 damage each bonus range on these it's not really the range that I'm worried about um, it's just the damage and the heat that I wanted from these guys um, and then I put a, a small X pulse on this thing which is 10 heat 35 damage which is beautiful because we're going to be within 150 meters of anything that we attack anyway and then a small VSPL uh, which is 50 damage for 19 heat so we've got 35 damage, we've got 50 damage, we've got um, 30, we've got 30, we've got an ER small laser over here for 20 and a small improved laser for 30. So that's a pretty darn good heavy loadout. And if we're landing behind our opponents, we can strip back armor really fast. Um, and I'm, I'm expecting probably, like, you know, medium to heavy max, it's going to probably be a couple of attacks from behind. As long as we have good chances to hit a couple of attacks from behind, and um, we can probably take them down, I'm hoping. Um, and then in the center torso, we've got the uh, tag barrage still. We still maintain that. I just moved it from the, this torso to the center torso, no big deal. So that's this guy. 
Um, and then what do we got? I think that was it. I think that was the only modification I made. Um, the avatar does have the hydro ammo now, so that was that's been put in. Um, I was thinking about pulling out the mag pulse ammo, but because I'm not a hundred percent sure, it provides ECM jamming. So it jams their ECM, so hopefully it makes it easier for us to hit them as opposed to they're detecting us. Or maybe it's both. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to take it off because I'm not 100% sure what we'd be losing with it. So we're going to keep it. Plus it does it does do a little bit of heat damage, which is, which is fine. Um, so we'll keep that in there. And then the mortise. I don't know, guys. This is painful. Let's have a quick look at this before I do anything else. Um, I'm still keeping it in the roster because the episode where the last episode 55 I think it was or 56 is airing today that I'm recording so I don't know what the comments on this are going to be so I'm going to leave it as is now my thought was hey you know let's get an MRM 30 in there but the problem is is that it's it's all comes down to weight right the weapons we have in here right now are six and a half tons in total and yeah we've got a lot of ammo we got what one two three four tons of ammo so it's ten and a half tons am i correct here Let's double check one two three four and a half tons so yeah 11 tons in total that we had to play with and if we pull the warfare suite out and put something else in we would probably have a couple of extra tons the mrm 30 is 10 tons by itself and then as far as ammo goes we do have improved ammo and we do have incendiary ammo that we could drop in I mean, maybe we could do it, like one ton of each, so tw like, you know, what, six turns each of continuous fire with a, a turn of 20 rounds firing for each, so like, you know, 14 turns of firing, I guess, maybe, I don't know, but then that's dedicating it all to one location, if it gets hit, we're, we're, we've got nothing other than the melee, which we're not doing that well with anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about retiring that and finding a better melee max somehow. I know this one's geared to be melee, so I don't know. I really don't know. We do have an axe. We do have a couple of other things that we could put on a mech. Like if we can find one with two hands, we could put the combat shield on it and then the axe. I don't know. But anyway, that being tossed up in the air let's quickly go ahead and bring forward the battle master because i know people are ready to see this so the battle master part this one here is higher tech level um, than this one so we're bringing one of these forward so let's ready this we've got a good chance to get a lot of stuff for this um, i don't know if you can see it now but items recovered 83 percent chance uh, limb repair 66 and item repair 58 percent so hopefully we can get some good stuff. I know we did off the Warhammer 2C, so let's bring this forward. Alright, let's see what we got here. So this is, I'm hoping this is a good candidate for the, uh, the Heavy Rack 5. So let's have a look in the base here. Yeah, it looks like we did pretty good. Well, we lost an arm. But not bad. Kind of a weird ass looking thing. Yeah, so we, oh wow, we lost a lot off this thing. Basilisk FF. Hand, okay, well, we, wow, man, we got screwed on this one. We got screwed. Our tech level's pretty high, too, so, just bad roll of the dice, I guess. Well, alright, how much is it going to take to repair this? So, Basilisk FF, what is this? Minus 20% weapon heat generated, minus 12% armor weight. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool, I gotta say. Now, these uh, series smashers, I'm not really sure what makes this better than anything. I know the high explosive reduces mines within a two hex radius. I get that. But the, all PPCs do that. Stacking ECM jamming of one. 
No jam is no jam uh no damage from misfire, but I don't know how often this thing's gonna misfire. Left click on chance to hit during battle to toggle field in oh it's a field inhibitor. Has no minimum range, but can misfire. It's rugged so it doesn't take any damage from misfire, so that's kinda good. That's the one thing I hate about misfire, taking damage on your items. Cause you, you know me, I how many times do you guys watch me just not look at how many times my items get damaged and then I farm and then they get destroyed. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Ah, man, I got to tell you, being uh, ADD is, is, can be punishment. All right, so that's actually not that bad. So we got a laser. Where's the ballistic? So it's in this arm, which means we can drop the rack in here. We've got three missile launchers and a pair of lasers in each arm, which isn't bad. I mean, we could drop a heavy PPC in this arm if we wanted to. Although maybe the heavy v like the heavy VSPL laser will be better in here. Although the heavy PPC I think has got better range. But yeah, I mean that's actually not that bad. We're just going to do a general repair. Look at this. Just a general repair. 900,000. See, this is what I mean. Like and if we were go like here's the thing. This is why it's frustrating. You know, you pick up an XL core. So we just dropped an engine in. Not that bad, right? And then we've got our Clan XL. Watch the price go up. So we've got 1.171 mil million. There you go. And this is the reason why it's like, I, I why, uh, you know, I agree with it. I totally agree with the expensiveness of putting XL engines in. I, I believe that before when they were way cheaper, they were really easy to use. This kind of makes it worthwhile. It's one of those... I don't know. It's like it's like I mentioned about the um, BFG nine thousand. It's one of those items that you just want to, you know. It's kind of like an end game. I'm just going to repair this first. It's kind of like an end game thing, you know, where the BFG nine thousand. It's a beautiful weapon, but I feel like, and I know it's not the case. I feel like it's kind of a cheat weapon for the, what we're fighting. Even the even the snub nose Goss, you could kind of say it's like a cheat weapon, but it really isn't because if you look at the range on it, right, 410 meters, that's it. It's 200 damage, but the damage falls off too, right? So I'm never doing 200 damage, right? It's usually around 150 or 130, something like that, which isn't that bad, right? But then you look at that, that friggin... <laughs> BFG 9000 it's like 1440 meters range right at 350 damage to start and it's like come on you know I agree with it later on if we're fighting like five lances or we're fighting super heavy mechs 100% great perfect no problem with that but at least this the snub nose is kind of balanced because all you have to do is back up right the enemy just needs to back away and like it takes forever for this black knight to get into battle too right and you've seen it in a few missions where this guy's done nothing because he's got to get close and he can't. So that's kind of balanced to me. But, but, but dropping that into here, the BFG, and just standing back on a hill and shooting guys, I don't know. I agree if you're fighting overwhelming enemies, right? It's a difficult battle. I get that. I'm perfectly fine with it. But, you know. Anyway, I'm, I've said my piece. That's fine. So, okay, so moving on. Let's uh, go ahead and take a battle here. Now, we do need to get another pilot. Um, but And I had a look in the hiring hall here. And, I mean, we could go with uh, Spitfire here. He's actually not that bad. 41,000 base salary but and piloting starts starting at 7, which is kind of cool. Uh, merchant and command bonus XP for every pilot in the lance if a command pilot's present, which I don't think we've got a command pilot, unfortunately. But um, So he's not that bad. I mean, at least to start, we can get his guts and gunnery up really quick. Uh, the piloting and, and tactics being at 7 and 5 kind of puts him at par. And then we've got um, Namazu, Namazu, um, merchant ship crew, pirate crew, uh, cautious, plus, uh, has plus 2 defense, but suffered minus 1 accuracy. I mean, she might make a good scout pilot. Um, much like uh, we're using with Queen Bee. So she's a possibility too. Let me know what you think down in the comments. We're going to be in this planet for a little while. Uh, let me know what you think. We may pick her up and see. Um, I don't really see there's too much of a downside to her. She gets a moderate bonus to starting XP, which probably won't help at all. Uh, but she's got pretty good skills across the board to start. Um, 
having the tactician is nice and the awareness is kind of nice if we go with the the scout pilot idea then we can go with um uh what's it called the evasion one for for piloting so that would be worthwhile to make her like a queen bee so that's a possibility um but fifty two thousand base salary we're already at 1.4 <laughs> 4 million and we have, don't even have a second lance up in, or a second uh, uh lance that we can drop yet right it's going to be a hundred thousand for the drop ship plus more so we're in a desperate need of gaining a ton of sea bills. So we're going to try to do that before the end of the month with as minimal amount of damage as we can possibly do. Now, I'm um, going to go quickly before anything. I'm going to go to engineering uh, just to show you what we're working on. So we're working on the library, I think it is. Was it the weight room? I can't remember. Gymnasium, it's like plus two morale, plus one tech. It was only 225,000, so I figured just go ahead and do it. So that's what we're working on right now. Um, just to get the tech up a little bit, we've got 31 mech tech already, 9 medical, which isn't that much. And our morale is sitting at 28, which is pretty good. So this should bring it to 30, which will be nice. Uh, 32 mech tech, which is nice. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, oh, and one last thing. So going in the mech bay real quick. Um, what is it here? So let's just have a quick look. So yeah, um, this is for Anthony. He likes to see the uh, the mechs up or the mechs in the mech bay. So just quickly going to go in here and show you the uh, the modeling on these is really cool. So you know you can see the reflections and everything. It's pretty. It's it's I gotta say it's you know pretty darn cool. And even the uh, the battle master is kind of nice. And now I don't like the fact that I can't really change the colors on that mech. But uh, if we have a look at the Battlemaster, or sorry, not the Battlemaster, the uh, Warhammer. Warhammer is pretty cool too. Now it's obviously different than the original Warhammer. This is more of a kind of a modern look on it. I still like the older look where the kind of PPC kind of jutted out at the end, like it was like attached to the arm more. This looks like it's more of a full arm, whereas before it was like the arm came down, the PPC was like sticking out this way. But you know, I still kind of like it right it's nice it's really nice I gotta say the little head the, the, it's like a stinger head or whatever it looks really too small for me should be a little bigger but that's fine the arms look really cool with the lasers and everything so yeah there's that and then when the, once we get the battle master up I'll have a look at that too all right so um, command center let's do this all right break out attack and defend let's negotiate this we're gonna go in with the main lance full salvage Oregon Coalition's dropping by seven. So that's not too, too bad. Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm going to reorganize the lances a little bit. Um, I'm still kind of thinking that maybe I will move Hopper back into the Archer again and put him in a different lance. He doesn't have to necessarily be part of the command lance. I know he's technically the commander, but I'm not locked into that, you know. All right, Queen B. Because, I mean, we uh, Arachne, you know, perfect long-range artillery mech pilot you know and maybe we move up um, where is he here earthquake once he gets um, once he gets warlord we move him up into this lance maybe drop maybe drop um, well we'll leave hotshot in the black name maybe we'll drop uh, earthquake into the battle master and then you know move on from there just move arachne into the uh, avatar she'll she'll take over command of the lance I think all right, but anyway, let's deploy. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Now, I don't know if we've ever done a attack and defend on this. Oh, maybe we have on this map before. It does kind of look our forces are ready to help and defend assist in defending the base. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's hope they do because we've had instances where they don't. All right, now this is our evac zone. This is nice. That's we got enemies in the way. We got medium, large, medium. Like how many buildings do they have? They've got three. Two mediums and a large. Okay, so this is probably 200, 150, 150. That should be easy enough. Nine rounds before reinforcements arrive. Okay, so uh, let's get Hopper up a little higher. 
helping Get out. Get up a little higher. Okay, Warhammer's a little far back, but we got range, so we're good. Uh, let's move into here. Wow, you're really far behind, eh? Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump at the start. I don't normally do this, but... Prepping for jump. We need to get you up closer. So, my thought, too, with um, building, like, having a, kind of like an ECM mech or something that we can use in every lance, where are the hell are these guys going? Um, is bringing the forth, forward the Men Shen and kind of build it like a, a Raptor or a Rapier, fill it throw, full of EC, like ECM or electronics and stuff like that. You know, we've got the uh, Clan SRM-6s that we could use, or we could use the... Um, the risk MML fives and just throw in like, you know, chaff ammo, EC, uh, EMP ammo, all kinds of stuff like that, and so a whole bunch of jump jets. You know, that's my thought anyway. Um, yeah, I want you up on the hill. I want you up on the hill. Okay, you can see from here. So let's get up here. Moving out. Um, what are we dealing with here? An emperor. 1A, a Clint, and an Archer 1A. So we're dealing with shit, basically. So I'm going to get you into the trees. So let's just get up there. And I want you... Just going to walk it, because I want our stability back. We haven't got any lo stability loss. Did they fix that? Maybe they did. Wouldn't that be nice? So first for everything... Whoa! Um, do we want to see what's back there? This could be a bad move, but I want to move in. Find out what we're dealing with at the back there. Eyes oh, and enemy in surround. Yeah, well, we knew they were going to be there. Yeah, see, we... Why do we have instability now, but we didn't before? I've got your back. All right, buddy, let's shred some shit. Um, this is... Oh, I'll get the chance to hit on this guy. So the Emperor, pair of AC-5s, three medium lasers. Archer is... Standard Archer. AC-5 medium laser. AC-5 pirate. So that could be the one that Fist of Dorm was talking about. Maybe that's the one that he was saying that is... Um, has got the uh, a potential to use Inferno ammo that can be devastating. Tandem rockets, LRM-17 pirate, chaff countermeasures. Um, I think we can burn through the side of this guy without a problem. 56 in the arm. I'm going to go hardcore on this guy, and we're going to go... We're going to do a Talondale special, load up the... Uh, um, the... Um, my God, Warlord and Fire right at the stop or start here. Uh, I'm not going to even bother um, doing a pinpoint. We're just going to fire everything and hope everything hits. Aye, aye. Yep. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. He had no armor. He's not surviving an LRM 50 strike with uh, or the Artemis. There's no way. Or LRM 55 strike with Artemis. Uh, now you've got... Oh, you did have the ability to shoot. I guess it was the archer that you saw. But you can see the Clint. Uh, let's get as far as you can go. On the move. Full speed. It's not a bad speed. I'm going to work on the loadout on this mech too at some point. We're going to sensor lock the Clint. Sensors locked on. Not that it's going to make that much difference, but we're going to sensor because he hasn't moved. Fire all four. Wow, damage 35. I guess because he's braced. Alright, nice hits. What do we got back here? Merlin? Yeah, baby. Now I did squeeze... Was it in the Warhammer? I think it's the Warhammer that I put in the, uh... No, where did I put it? Oh, I put it in Hotshot. No, it's the Warhammer. Yeah, no, it's Hotshot. Yeah, sorry, he's got the, um... The Advanced AMS. I think I mentioned that before. He's running with an Advanced AMS right now, so... That'll help out. We're gonna get right on these guys. 
Here's the thing is I want him in close fast because he needs to get up here. Um, I think the Emperor's got to go. He's got more weapons than the Clint. I know we could probably kill the Clint, but if we can kill the Emperor first shot, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's leave the barrage off, though. I don't think we're going to need that. No, not a kill shot. Okay. Good damage, though. But you can see what I mean. I mean that, like, that, that Emperor is an old... is the old version. And the Snubnose Goss is tough, and you can kill medium mechs with it. But if that was the BFG, he'd be dead. You know? And as much as I... It's kind of weird for me to say, and that's not fair. But it... Like, I mean, would you guys... Do you guys want to watch me do every single battle while I steamroll the enemy like that? I don't know. I mean, we're doing really well as it is. You know, there's only been a couple of times when we've been in really hard fights. And it's weird because the earlier versions of Road Tech, you take a three skull mission and it's like you're fearing for your life. And now we're at four and a half and I'm like, okay, where's the challenge? Minimum damage. Uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, I know. I, don't say that though. Uh, you know, I've been saying that, like, you know, there's not really that much challenge to it right now, but, you know, I'm sure once we get that, that, um, once we get the, uh, second dropship up and running, it's going to change quickly. So I'm going to reserve my, uh, Standing by. my words on that till later. Now, this guy took... You know, no, let's not do it. Let's get, let's make sure we got lots of evasion. Let's get over here. Off. And look, I mean, look at we just jumped that distance. No need for the barrage. Uh, he's taking most damage on the other side, though. But we're just gonna hammer this guy. Yeah, see, I'm liking that better. Yeah. The t -Samp really, I mean, we would have hit him for a bit of damage, five points, slowed him down, gave him a bit of heat, but really, is that going to do anything for us? Not really. This guy's going to die anyway. And it's not like he's doing anything. So I think we might get more use. I'd like to hear what you guys think after this battle, but I think we're going to get more use out of the, the weaponry loadout on this Brookhut than, than we are with the t -Samp or the Flamers. You know, as we progress, I'm thinking, you know, that against the heavier max, for this thing to stay more viable, we're going to need to find weaponry that's going to be low heat, low weight, high damage, as much as we can, work it into the system. This is a hot planet. She's already, I mean, she's she's got a little bit of heat going on her right now, but not that much. Beautiful man. Thanks, Hotshot. Thanks for that AMS coverage. Yellow jacket. Yeah, they've done such a good job of improving the um, the speed in this game now too. I think a lot of people stopped playing because they got frustrated with the. Uh, oh crap. Yeah, I hear you. Just leave me alone. We're working on it. Yeah. Falling back to hold off the attackers. Falling back. You guys aren't even in the battle yet. How are you talking about falling back? Crikey, she could just stand back here and just shoot people. Is this buildings? It is buildings. That's 250. Alright, we'll fire at that one. I like how they changed the numbers to blue so you know you're hitting a building. It's kind of good. Like that. But yeah, as I was saying about the, the speed change. Wow, these guys are really going after the buildings. Alright, we need to kill these guys fast. Um, hardcore baby let's take this guy out just fire it up
Oof, I thought for sure we'd take him down, but I guess we must have missed the other torso. Yeah, mostly arm and, like, wow. That's okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's alright, we're working on it. Now, this is the time when multi-target would come in handy, but we don't have it, so we'll work with what we got. So I'm hoping we can pull down the Clint this turn. I'm hoping we can pull down the Emperor this turn. Oh yeah, if you can kill the Clint, that'd be even better. It's going down. Alright, he's pretty much done. Oh, he bailed. Beautiful. Beautiful! Alright, now we can get... Um, huh, I wonder... I was thinking about using Queen Bee on the... Um, their Makiva, but I think maybe we'll... We might switch her over to the um, to the um, Emperor to see if we can target that uh, shoulder and blow his arm off. Because then I can switch the Black Knight over to the Merkiva and blow that up. Come on, Nidhogg, do something good. At least, we're not, at least these guys are on our side. Usually we're facing the Nidhoggs. So I'm going to have to look for Swarm Ammo. Um, I'm thinking that we should be carrying a lot of Swarm and um, a lot of like, on our LRM boats. Not a lot, but at least one ton of it for everything. Yes, Commander. Say hello to my little friend. Well, she's not that little, but... Vigilance. Gonna go ahead and use an offensive push on this guy. Very low chance to hit with everything, but I think we should get enough on this guy. We'll fire it all. Oh, looks like we got. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, you a lot of ammo in there. That's See ya. Kill. You got that right. Now we can get the Black Knight on the Merkiva, blow that sucker up, and then the rest of the guy should technically. Good to go. Technically. Like a technicality, be far enough away from our base. That's a nice solid red line. Roger. Get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. There's that snubby. I'm gonna put the... well... No, because we're gonna we're gonna be moving through this area. So let's not barrage this guy. We'll barrage the guys at the back. Well, we'll just target the base, I think. Roger. See ya. Beautiful. First Lance down. Reporting one less vehicle. You got that right! Now we got a roughneck back there. Life and crimes of a roughneck. What are you shooting at, buddy? The head, sir? It looks like you were just shooting for my mechs. Awaiting orders. He's probably pissed that we let him hit the base. Let's confirm that. Let's jump into action. Action mutante. That was a, like a beautiful film, man. Fion Mutante. Alright, let's fire at this guy. Alright, Barrage is on. He's panicking. Beautiful. Let's make them shit their drawers, baby. Make them shit their drawers. That's going to be another building shot. Yeah, she was way out of position at the beginning, but I'm kind of glad we have those ERs on here. Oh, we can hit this guy. Well, that's the building. Yeah, what is fire in the building? Copy that. All right, it's almost gone. I think we do what we always do, though. If we can wipe out this lance in five five rounds, well, four and whatever this rest of this uh, round is, we'll hold off wiping the base out, and we'll see what their uh, reinforcements are like. See what kind of salvage we can get. I mean, we do have emperor parts. We could take an emperor, but honestly. Yeah, well, you shot a lot down, though. I mean, I think I'm done with, uh, with, <laughs> with old, like, obsolete mechs now. We've got the Dervish, we've got the Archer, we've got the Rifleman. You know, I think it's time that we just... Other than the Archer, which I think will remain in the Lances until the very last episode, it'll be here till the end, unless it gets blown up, of course. 
Talk to me. Knock on wood. Um, we're going to keep it with us the whole time, aye, aye. but I think um, the other ones, the Dervish, will, 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 we will retire. Uh, uh, my thought is that it's going to get replaced with the Men Shen, so... Okay, he's got a Thunderbolt 5 and a medium rifle with APF SDS. Uh, now, let's go with Incendiary and just fire it up. Ah, not bad. He's panicking. That's good, though, I guess. Merlon. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. So yeah, if we weren't in this environment, that um, the the lamb would definitely not be get generating any heat. I don't think it's only because we're in this environment that we're generating heat. <laughs> it's like he shot at himself there for a second. We're gonna jump her out of that area though. Order. I copy. Only forward, never backwards. Russian doctrine, attack! All right, let's go with this. He's got a tag on him, nice. Hetzer kind of looks cool. It's weird that everyone calls the Hetzer the Hetzer because it's, it's really like, there's no real records of anyone ever calling it a Hetzer. It's the, it's the, I can't, I don't even know the whole thing. It's Panzer 38T, Optalung something, or I can't remember what it is fully. But there's no records of anyone ever calling it a Hetzer. For some reason, people just like, love to call it the Hetzer, so it's kind of stuck. Sorry, I'm talking about the World War II um, German uh, self-propelled gun. Well, you can call it an oh, SPG. Right. It's basically a, a small ambush tank based on the 38T chassis. They did have to extend the chassis though to make it work. So I mean it's not um, exactly a 38T but pretty darn close. Alright we're running out of uh, we're running out of available heat here so let's drop some heat. We're gonna target this building and hopefully kill it. Beautiful. It's one for us, zero for them. Got our heat back. You can open up on one of these guys once we get down there. I, I should use my sensor lock, but we're not in a position where we're really worried about having to use that, so... Well, that Hetzer will take the barrage. Hopefully it will be... I don't think it'll kill it. Do a little bit of damage anyway. Yeah, I love, uh, I don't know, I probably said this a million times, I love the uh, World War II history. I play um, the game War Thunder. If anyone's interested, it's a free-to-play game, and it's really, I mean, I, I, it's, you could call it similar to World of Tanks, but it isn't really. World of Tanks is like, aye, aye. for me, it's like the baby sister of, uh, <laughs> of, um, War Thunder. War Thunder, I, I, I think, is just... It, the damage model is better. Uh, I find it more realistic. It's For me, it's just more fun to play. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of damage to this building. Now, we're going to drop some heat. Now, it's the VSPL that's super hot. Small Improved Heavy that's hot. What was the X-Pulse again? It's 8 heat. And these are, what, 15? 13? Seven. Uh, let's just drop these two. Yeah, we'll just fire with these two. Copy that. Get a little bit of damage on it. At least so we're doing something. But yeah, I play a lot of War Thunder, and I really love how um, realistic the damage model is. So rather than you know like having like a health bar or whatever, it's based on the material inside the tank so when you once you pen the armor um, you know you can destroy the tank by ammo racking it or you can 
you know, kill off all the crew or, you know, you shoot at the engine to take out the engine so that, you know, the enemy has to repair it. Things like that. And that's the kind of stuff I really love. Oh, man. But you can see what I mean. Now, if that was the uh, BFG 9000, he'd be dead. And that's what I... Uh, you know... you got to give the enemy kind of a chance. All right, so he takes the barrage. Ooh, that's some good damage. 24, 24, and 24 internally. I'll take that. Ooh, he blew up too. Yeah, baby. 13 from 20. Yep. I'm kind of glad I put the advanced AMS on him. He is slower, so, I mean, at the start of the battle, if we get long-range uh, guys shooting at us, he'll be there protecting everyone at the beginning, and then he'll be the one slowly moving forward with the Warhammer, so he can cover both of them. You know? He'll have enough firepower to cover both of them while we're shooting from a distance with the... Uh, the avatar and jumping in with the um, Burkut. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go full salvo because why not? Let's burn this guy. I'm going to go ahead and sensor lock first. I got to do this. Learn, learn to be doing this more often. Now he should be in range. Yeah. Sensor lock him. And then target this guy. Here it comes. There it is. Mech destroyed. All right. Talk to me. I'm moving. All right, we're going to target uh let's just target the building that's been damned. What's 48? What's the other one? That's the rough 83 on the roughneck. Now we got to go against the roughneck, man. Can't pass that up. That's indirect at 83. Well, he's got a rotary auto cannon, pirate rotary auto cannon 10. MRM 20 and Cindery. That's kind of nice too. Uh, I'm gonna warlord this so we can hit more. Hit more. Hit more. I'm gonna incendiary this guy. Now, there's going to be a heat cap, but he's going to be nice and toasty. Commander. Let's finish this building off, B, if you don't mind. You can just sit here for now. Bring up the bright blooms. That's no, adding no heat. No heat. Tiny bit of heat, but we're not jumping, so we're just going to fire it all. Like, I mean, that's pretty darn good damage for, like, for this mech. Well, they're not going to spot us. At least they can't communicate to their dropships now. All right, beautiful. Just stay there, B. We got three rounds before they arrive. This guy should drop in that. Yes, Commander. Um. Locking in coordinates. All right, gonna warlord. Drop some heat. Pinpoint damage this guy. We're gonna see if we can pinpoint this guy out. Let's go for his leg. Fifty-four with the snub. We're dropping heat. We should be able to drag everything on. Yeah, we're going to do that. See if we can get that leg. No. All right. No big deal. Negative damage. Let's hope their first dropship lands right there. Two turns until it arrives. How can I help? This guy is nice and toasty. Let's keep him that way, Hopper. Well, he's not going to shut down. Uh, actually, let's reserve you. Because I want to get a little closer. Not going to be shy. Here we go. Side shot. We'll get over here. Let's leave the Apollos off. 91, eh? Maybe not. Um, yeah, maybe we do because I want to continue. I want to do some continuous fire on this guy. 
and I don't want to just completely wreck him. Let's go after his leg. What's the... Yeah, let's go after it. That should be the leg. Yep, he's going down. Have a seat, buddy. I missed what you said there. Let's hope our allies don't kill him. Ah, crap. Okay, they're not going to sponge off our uh, attacks here. Okay, we're going to go after this leg. And I'm going to leave that off because we'll blow him up with that, probably. We'll fire the rest. I copy. Got the tag on. Yeah, we're going to get Arachne, to, or not Arachne, I got, why, why, after so many episodes, why do I still do that? We're going to get Queen Bee down there. Let's not get right beside him, because we got assholes that are going to be shooting here in a second. Oh, sorry, our teammates. That are going to be shooting here in a second. Beautiful. Good chances to hit. We're going to go after this leg. I'm going to use everything, because I don't think it'll be enough to kill if we miss. So, let's go with that. Confirmed. Nope, not enough. Panicking, though. We spread that damage out a fair bit, and he's super heating, so... He did a lot of damage to the leg. Look at this guy. He's melting. I'm melting. And you're still going to shoot, huh? I guess you have to. There's no real choice. Inbound to the... Ooh, well, hello there. Well, hello there. Now, what do you got left here? Nothing. Um... Talk to me. Let's get in a position where we can target these guys incoming. Or the base if we have to. Let's get into... Come on. Right there. There you go. Roger. And post it up because if I shoot at that guy, I'm probably going to end up killing him. Alright. We just need one hit in that leg. Just... I don't want you to move though. I want to kind of be in some cover when they come little bit of cover. Just back up a bit. Alright, that's an offensive push on this guy. I missed the chance to hit there. What was it? 58. So, 30 some odd percent. Let's go with two and hope we get it. There you go. Beautiful. Excellent. The MRM-20 is ours. Now don't shoot at their base. Just don't do it. Standing by. Let's get over here. We'll, go. we'll brace and cool off. And hotshot, right. uh, you're not going to be able to get out of the way, but let's get you back here. On the move, full speed. Just a little bit. If they drop four assaults, then you know. It's going to be an issue, but I highly doubt that'll happen. Okay, here they come. Yeah, not a whole lot. Copperhead. Gallant. Love how they all go first. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Another copperhead. Archer 4M, eh? Hmm, maybe we go after another archer, guys. Yeah, right. Got one. If we can get a better version of the archer, I might go with the upgrade, but I don't know. That's an AC-20 carrier. So yeah, that is my target now. Oh, not Hydra. We're saving that for if we need it. Let's go with this because of the chance to hit, and let's kill it. Triggering an alpha strike. Wow, the, both the lasers missed. See ya. Vehicle down. Can't let that get close. Which means we gotta shoot this other copperhead. Don't get too close! Oh, it's a different one. LRM-10? Really? wonder if shooting at the archer... Can I get them both from there? Ah! I can't. 
can from here. But it's a crappy chance on both. It's nice to know though that I can destroy their base at any time. <laughs> it's in sight, so it's beautiful. Um, light rifle, LRM-10. So it's, that's not really that big of a threat. I mean it is, but not that we have to worry about at this moment. Let's go after the archer. I know it's low chances to hit, but well, it won't be in a second. Um, so, chances to hit like that. I've got a sensor lock. Minus one evasion. It's not going to help that much. Not that much, but a little bit. So this guy's got... That's a lot of medium lasers for an archer. 4M. That's interesting. That would be a beautiful upgrade to our current archer, but... Alright. Maybe we have his attention now, I don't know. Awaiting orders. If we don't, we will have in a second here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to reserve her. Confirmed. We still have the Black Knight. I think it's going to probably take out one of the two... The Gallant is what? Eh, I don't know. Don't shoot me. Don't do it. Yeah, I can't see what it was. LBX-10. Yeah, it's not that bad. It could do some damage, but this guy could do a lot more. Okay, beautiful. He took the bait. Ow. Ow. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, well, we knew that was going to happen. Better you than him taking down one of the buildings and costing us some money. Roger that. Now, whichever one of these two is easier to hit. 91 with the snub. Got nine rounds left. 94 with the snub. We'll take this guy out. Or not. That's good armor. Solid connection on that one. At least we got his attention. You know, if this archer... Yes, Commander. I don't know, I was just about to say if the archer is uh, easily salvageable, it might be an upgrade for the dervish. But, let's get behind this guy. Let's give him a fuck you. Welcome to the battle, buddy. Enemy Bringing the pain. Got the tag on. He's unsettled. I would be too. I wonder what his back armor's like. Because we're this close, if we go before him next turn, we could do a, uh... I hope so. We can do a, um... Still moving in, this guy. Yeah. Better hope his LBX doesn't fire. Crap. Well, Hopper can kill this guy. Yeesh! Kill them! Kill the bastard! There you go. You may survive one hit, but you ain't surviving two. Vehicle trash. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was I saying? Something about the archer. Oh yeah, if we can get a um, a cold shot in his back, we'll see if we can bring him down. I bet you he's running an XL engine. With that much armor, I mean, he's probably definitely got Endo and Pharaoh. With that much armor, that many lasers, he's probably got a double heat sink kit. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, beautiful. That frees up Hopper to uh, use some incendiary on this guy. I've got your back. See ya. Warlord. Uh, we're gonna put that on EMP. We want to go Hydra on this guy? No, we're too close. Is Hydra going to splash over, though? That's the question. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can burn right through that that location, but do we want to? I don't think so. I mean, it will secure us the kill. Yeah, Hydra's got severely hard chance to hit. Let's just go incendiary on this guy and some EMP. Here we go. Stressing out. Awaiting orders. Let's move around here. I wish you could target the legs from the back in an OP. Let's go after this leg. Firing. Sure. Reporting. Sure, just go for the torso instead. Because that's good. The clustering with the Apollo ammo is scary. Alright, we're going to OP this guy's head. He's almost done. Doesn't have an XL. Maybe a light engine? I don't know. Let's go for headshots on him, see what happens. Oh, yeah! Well, there you go. I shouldn't have stood in the barrage. I saw that as soon as I hit the button. Okay, they're behind us now. Alright, we gotta kill these guys fast. Um, Receiving you. They're gonna get to go before us though. Uh, and they're going to have line of sight on the base. Alright, let's finish this off. How can I help? Why can't I attack? Why can't I attack the building? Do I have to move first before way. I can attack it? Holy shit, I can't attack their building. That's fucked up. Move order confirmed. Am I missing something, guys? Please let me know in the comments if I am. Because that's fucked up. That shit needs to be fixed. Engaging jump jet. That shit needs to be fixed. The attack was completely grayed out. I'm like, what the? F they're gonna drop. They're all gonna fire, and like, or at least their vehicles are. Whatever their vehicles are, here they come. Kind of getting crowded. It's not getting crowded. What are you talking about? You got good crowd control. Oh, it looks like they got an additional lance here too. Ooh, it's all mechs. <gasps> what do we got? That's like a hunchback. Yep, commando, a Frankie. And a quick draw. Alright, we're not going to get anything good out of these guys, I don't think. So let's start to shred. Ooh, you can't uh, get an LOS on these guys, eh? Then, if you can't get a line of sight, let's just move up a little higher. A little higher, baby. Let's take care of this, uh, at least shoot this guy on its back. Pair of light, a pair of light AC tens. That's kind of a cool loadout. Affirmative. Enjoy the heat, Bubba. Enjoy the heat. Yeah, crap. How much I can do? Oh, he missed. No, he didn't. Thought he missed. Standing by. jump right into the thick of things. Actually, can we get behind this guy? Prepping for jump. 
Hunchbacks have notoriously back armor, if I haven't said this already. So if you guys are fighting Hunchbacks, we're going to Vigilance this because we're right in the thick of it. Okay, we're not going to... Uh, they've got notoriously, like, n horrible back armor. So if you can get behind a Hunchback, it's pretty much done for this guy. As long as you hit, that is. Scored a critical hit. Beautiful. All those weapons will pen through the armor, which is nice. Ah, uh, he's taking the building. Yep. You're not going to lose them all. Shut the hell up. The third group should land in this valley, probably. I'm shocked that you couldn't... On our turn of movement, we couldn't fire. That's, that's annoying as hell. Now, is this supposed to be... Another lance? Oh, he hit him. Nice. Doesn't look like it. Crap. Frank, he goes to Hollywood. Hunchback or the Frankie? Either one. We're going to get initiative, I think, on the Hunchy. So I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to worry more about the more about the Frankie, I think. Yeah, we want this guy, I think. So let's sensor lock him. Then let's go ahead. Oh yeah, much better. And fire on him. Beautiful. Torso. Inflicted some heavy damage. You sure as hell did, girl. Waiting for orders. We gotta get the AM well, I don't know if we need to get the AMS up, but if we can get it closer to uh, our buildings, at least he can protect it from missile fire. Gonna try the barrage in there too. Let's fire everything. Firing on target. Now he missed. Barrage hit though, it looks like. That's nice. Alright, what are they doing? Next one arrives in two rounds. We're in a good position for that because, I mean, usually it's left side, or one side, the other side, then not in the middle. So it'll probably land in here somewhere. At least fingers crossed, that is. Come on, shoot somebody, buddy. Shoot somebody, buddy. Going after the commando. Nice. It's one mech I don't want to have to shoot at. He's not really that tough. And if these guys can kill him, beautiful. Come on. You know what would be interesting to add in for salvage? Is if your allies kill a mech, it shouldn't show up in the salvage list. It should be considered their kill. Beautiful. So that should be considered a pirate kill and pirate salvage. Yep, center. Okay. We gotta kill these guys fast then. Hotshot's going really slow. That head hit's really really hurting him. Who's going first here? Oh, the quick draw. Good, thanks for moving that barrage off me. I really appreciate it. Hunch is going on 15. B is going the same turn as me, so she can probably shoot him in the asteroid. Is there no way we can get to a position where we... Oh, we can shoot him in the ass. That I think we want to use our weapons on the Frankie, though. Alright, let's miss Queen B, please, all together. Please and thank you. Alright, not incendiary. Oops, Artemis. That's the better chance to hit, but we're turning them off. 
Alright, beautiful. We didn't hit her at all. That was a critical hit, lad. Good damage. Commander. Ooh, you don't have the ability to shoot him in the back. Um, let's do this. Enemy down. You got that right. Oh shit. I thought it was pressing jump. That's bad. I was going to have her jump back over here to engage these guys as soon as they landed. Ooh, hit. Nice. I don't think uh, Arachne's got the, the juice to pull down that hunchback. Lots of salvage here, though. You know, I said earlier that eh, they made improvements so things go a little faster. And here we are waiting for one of the choppers to move. But still, that's way better than before. Like, I remember the early versions when they were when they first added... Oh, beautiful shot. When they first added, added the rotary wings in. How long it took them to fire. It even moved for that matter. Like, it was just took them forever. Can we not see that hunchback anywhere? I thought I saw one with a line where... Oh, there we go. Not the best position to be in. But we want that hunchback, so... Beautiful. Let's get on him with everything. Firing. Firing all weapons. Wow, only one hit. Scored a critical hit. Well, at least he had case. Hopefully we can get Hotshot up there to finish him off. Not that worried about the quick draw. I mean, we can pull him down. Quick draw can come down pretty quick, I think. The problem with a 60 ton mech with a large engine is it doesn't have a lot of armor. Yeah, he's going to be taking a lot of heat damage in a second too, so... Well, not a lot, but enough to put him over the top there, I think. Keep shooting him, guys. Keep shooting him. Alright, Hotshot. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to do a Vigilance because I want to see if we can get him to move a lot quicker next turn. Understood. Full speed it is. For a couple of hexes. Beautiful. Let's hammer this guy. Wow, the big one missed. Wow! Oh, he still bailed out though. Here comes another lance. What do we got? Okay, nothing significant it looks like. A Thanatos. Nidhog. Two Nidhogs. And a Shepherd. How can I help? Ooh, you're not gonna be able to hit those guys that well, Hopper, so let's just back up here. Confirmed. And let's clobber this guy up on the hill. Let's make it so that this guy can't do anything, though. Let's EMP him a bit, too. We're going to Warlord for the better chance to hit. And uh, let's give it to him. Giving him everything I've got. Okay, nice. That should shut him the fuck up for a turn. Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, let's reserve. We're not going to hit those guys down there, so let's reserve. We got to get those guys moving so we can shoot at them. So, hot, uh, hot shots on 15. He's still going to be going. Well, he'll, he might go before their second Nidhogg. I hope he goes after because I wanted to use him on a Nidhogg. We're going to get um, Arachne to sensor lock one of them. 
and then we'll uh, we'll put um, hot shot on it and try and take it down fast. I think we're going to use Arachne to shoot at shoot out the back of the uh, quick draw. Not Arachne. My God, I'm still doing it. Queen B. Come on, guys. Trying to decide. Trying to decide if you know how to fly backwards properly. Okay, they may kill him before me though. We got a couple of Gauss rifles here, so yeah. See, they're um, they're locked onto the base right now, so I don't think they're going to target us at all. The Thanatos might, but I don't think the uh, Nidhogs will. Come on, man. Veto versus Copter versus Veto. Let's go. Oh, we got a sensor lock on him already. And shooting at the quick draw. Beautiful. Goss rifle hit. There's the Thanatos. No, he's not shooting. Okay. So the Nidhogg's got a sensor on it. So we're going to sensor the other one, I think, maybe. And rip apart that first one. So their vehicle goes on 18 as well. We've got another vehicle, a Nidhogg back here that goes too. Okay. Shooting the Thanatos, all right. All right, now what is the Shepherd? None of them seem to have any indirect. Heavy Flamer, SRM 6s and a medium laser. Ooh, four X pulses. Man, I'd love to get those. Um, bomb racks. That's not good. HVAC 20 and rockets. Let's go... Uh, Receiving you. We don't have our sensor lock back yet. Ah, crap. Do I reserve again? No. We're going to move here. Bomb. And we're going to go after this guy. Because he's locked already. See if we can just shred him. We get him, we didn't get him. Alright, significant damage though, that's good. We'll get our sensor lock back next turn and hopefully we can kill this Nidhogg. He's got to be really close, I think, for those bombs to work, so... He's going to go, and then we've got um, Hotshot. So maybe if he moves up enough, Hotshot might be able to finish him off. If not, we're going to target this other Nidhogg and try and blow it up right away. Ooh, nice shot. He's completely unstable, too. Oh, yeah, well, he's, unshut, he's shut down, too, right? So, he's not doing a damn thing. I'm going to get Queen Bee behind him. Make him drop his, drop a real load in his pants. Okay. All right, B. I think that's just outside close range, but I would rather be back a little further. Just so that those other choppers don't actually hit me. Alright, we're going to blast them with everything. Uh, let's go here. That's some significant back armor. See ya. Yeah, I think I'm liking the new load on this thing. It's still running a bit hot. I was hoping it wouldn't be quite this hot. Well, we are on a hot planet too. I'm going to reserve my final decision for when we get down to a cool planet. Alright, let's get that other Nidhogg. Where is he here? That's the guy we want. And we're going to Warlord this. Perfect timing for that to be back. And that's going to shed a ton of heat. Potential for 219 damage on this thing. Beautiful. Let's fire. There it is. Did we kill it? I don't think we did. We did. One more for the trash. We evaporated it. It's gone. It is gone. That target is gone. So Thanatos now... 
I'm still indecisive. We're going to get six pieces of salvage. I'm really indecisive about what I want to take out of this so far. Ah, crap. This guy's got some speed. Who are you shooting at, though? You don't got bombs. You got to be shooting direct fire. Oh, you got a line of sight in the building, eh? Woo. We better kill him fast. All right, Hopper. Talk to me. Maybe we can cook up uh, some Thanatos steaks here. We got 70 Hydra left. <sighs> Incendiary is a better chance to hit though. Let's just go incendiary on him. You don't got enough AMS to shoot that down, buddy. Thanks for playing, though. So Hotshot should be able to, to rotate and kill this guy. We'll get the barrage from the Warhammer onto the Thanatos. Oh, we don't have to do that now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel good about our allies this turn. Number one, they haven't hit us yet, which is always a bonus. Number two, they've been doing some good targeting and, good, and significant damage against the enemy, which is nice. Oh, well, we lost one. Maybe I shouldn't be talking nice about them while they're <laughs> being shot at. It's just jinxing them. Ready for orders. Sorry I jinxed you guys. I really apologize. It's all my fault. All right, let's see if we can end this guy. I'm not going to bother moving. Target confirmed. Yep. That's what you call fire superiority. Wow, you hit from way back there too, eh? Yes, Commander. All right, B. Um, Affirmative. Let's get into here. And I am going to vigilance because I want to go before this guy next turn. Offensive push. Targeting him. Let's go after his leg. Tag barrage. Firing. Not bad. Not bad. Awaiting orders. Stay on this side of him, please. Moving to position. Yeah. Okay. Not going to help that much, but. And we'll go after this leg if we leave off these two and this one. Should be enough for next turn. Firing. Okay, two in the leg. Nice. Nice. Hardcore. You know the score. See if we can get this leg. And firing. Ooh, that's a lot of leg hits. Not give him a chance to target you though. That's gonna be a lot of heat. Can we go somewhere that's not gonna be that much heat? I don't think it's really gonna make well. Engaging there we go. Not that much heat. Keep it under. I've got your back. Let's keep our little friend a little toasty. Fire the last 50 incendiary and some more EMP. Got the leg. He's going down. He's got a prototype double heat sink kit. That's beautiful. I can't remember if we have Thanatos pieces or not. We might have. I don't remember offhand. I wouldn't have sold them, though. I did sell a bunch of... Um, mech parts, but it was all the light stuff. Um, ah, fuck. Guys had to do that, didn't you? Oh, well.
yeah it was all the light snuff light snuff light snuff man it was all the light stuff and um fire on this guy Firing. some of the media like oh beautiful he took it out some of the medium stuff you know some of the like obsolete mech parts and stuff like that there it is folks let's go All right, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50% 50 increase. That's beautiful. Look at that. Uh, we lost one building, though, which is unfortunate, but we did well. Uh, Hotshot took a head hit, which is kind of unfortunate, but, I mean, the kills, the kill boards is nice to see it spread, at least amongst everybody here. For Kut, man, I, I got to say, I'm liking that loadout. It's not perfect. It needs to be tweaked and adjusted, but, it's you know, it's it's getting closer. All right, so this archer, Starlink technology, um, six laser, two missile, meh. Emperor part. Now, I, I don't think we have the 1A, but I think we, well, maybe I sold the emperor part because it's obsolete, right? I think I may have sold it. Quick draw, 7X, there's three parts, roughneck, one Thanatos. Man, really, just one. I think we're going to throw that in because that's a mech I would like to have. Three AC-20. So there's the pirate AC-5. Um, it does do 20 heat damage. Damage 25 times 1. 2 recoil, 9 variable damage. So it's 16 to 34 damage. Recoil times 10 jam chance. Times three bonus damage against overheating targets. Eight tons though. It's got nice range, 690, but for eight tons, I don't know, man. That's a lot, like that's a lot of weight. And if you put two of these on, 16 tons, a couple tons of ammo, it's 18 tons. You're still looking at putting it on a heavy mech and that's underpowered. I don't know. Handheld light PPC. That's kind of cool. 6.5 tons though, so we'd have to have a heavy mech to carry it. Um, I'm assuming it has to be a mech with a hand too. If it's handheld, you'd have to have a hand to use it. Minimum 90, max 430. Now, does it do... It does have stacking ECM jamming. It's zero heat, so maybe it's one of those... Well, we can't put it on the Burkut because it can't carry the weight. We'd have to have triple strength Myomars, and I don't have the room for that. Light missile rack. What? Tonnage zero. Is this one of those ones that fits on? Four ton bolt on one shot. Damage 30 times 2. So this fires two 30 damage missiles. One evasion pips ignored. That's kind of interesting. It's a long range weapon only. Pirate LRM 17. Damage is 6. Minus 1 accuracy and damage fall off. 6 tons though. I mean... That could be a good weapon for the, um, maybe, a good weapon for the, uh, my god, my brain is is dying, um, a good weapon for the, um, you know what I'm thinking of, Mortis. <laughs> it's hot up here, I'm getting tired and it's hot. Uh, okay, heavy machine gun array, MRM-20, Three medium pulse lasers or X pulses. That's kind of nice. The MRM 20 is nice too. It's seven tons though. 480 meters. Ah, the rotary auto cannon 10 pirate. There it is down there. 14 damage times three. Sorry, times five times three. So it's basically like an LBX rotary. 16 tons though, man. It's always so heavy. 27 heat, no big deal because it would be on a heavy mech, right? I don't know if there's any ammo. We're going to have a look down here to see if there's any ammo. It's not worth picking up unless there's ammo. Armored coil, case two. We're out of case. Let's 
you know, hopefully we get some of that in the roll. I'm not going to choose it though, because we don't need it for for sure. If we wanted C bills, we could just take three XL engines and sell them. Fuel cells, how much? 2.25. That's another one we could just take too. And a 300 core, which we've already got, we could take that and sell us two million. I mean, we could just go for a C bill run on this and work towards getting the Battle Master up and running. Prototype heat sink kit, though, I don't think we're going to miss that. I think we're going to drop the LRM-17, though. Because thinking on that now, yeah, we'd have long and medium range, but I'd be better off with the risks. I'd have the same, same number of launcher and be able to use short and long range missiles. Um, sorry, risk MMLs is what I'm thinking of. Patrick materials would be nice. I'm going to take these, I think. Tracker sensors, we can't not take those. Those are imperative. They're not as frequent as they are, in, like or at least they were in the in the past uh, patches and stuff. Incendiary AC-20 ammo, plus 40 heat damage. That's crazy, eh? Uh, what else do we got? LBX-10, some LBX-10 slug, which we don't have, but I don't think we really need it. Incendiary LCM, or... This would be nice. Although I'm wondering, like, this would be, like, there's so many nice little things down here. We'll wait on a roll to see if we get, yeah, there's the Rack 10 ammo. But it's in single, so I'd have to take them singly. How many rounds? 20 shots per. That's not bad. All right, so. Double load of AMS ammo. I think we're okay for AMS ammo. I can always, I keep looking for it in the store too, so I'm hoping to buy it there instead of picking it up off the battlefield. It's kind of a waste. This would be nice. Patchwork materials, 0.6 tons. Although these aren't as imperative as they were before. Before they were like, what? Patchwork tier three was one t or full ton, I thought, or a ton and a half or something. But now it's 0.6. It's like, yeah, if you if you have the actual internal space and you need more armor, they're perfect. But other than that, it's it's really just balanced. Three heavy pharaoh. We've still got one, so I don't think we need that. Heavy gyro is nice. Compact gyro is nice. We have all these fire control systems already, so we don't need any of those. Advanced one we don't have, but we do have a pirate one. So now, I, you know what? As much as I want this Thanatos part, I think we're going to go for sea builds. We're going to go for a battle master build. Like I could take the three archer 4M parts, and I think we've got an archer part, an older archer part kicking around. We could assemble an archer and hope to get some stuff off that. But I think if we want sea builds, let's go with the three XL engines sell them all off that's really where it's going to be at I think prototype heatsink kit is always useful double uh, prototype uh, double heatsinks we've only got two so having these extra four is beautiful tracker sensors it's like it's a no-brainer to take these um, so yeah I think we go this route that's a nice bit of salvage I'm glad we stayed to the end for that one Okay, we got two archer parts. That's nice. Three Clint parts. I think we've got a different version of the Clint, so I can probably assemble that. Oh, we picked up the two pirate AC-5s. That's nice. We may even get a chance to use them. I wish our uh, rifleman had ballistic in the arms. Then we could try it with that, but and like have a really light lance and use that as a the main fire weapon. But I don't think that's going to work. AMS flare. Yeah, we'll hang on. We how many do we have? We got two of these. Let's hang on to it. Uh, Blaze fire smalls. 0.5, 22 damage. It's actually not that bad for 7 heat. We may... I mean, they, those may go in the... I don't know. Machine gun array can probably... We've got one. I don't think we're going to need two. Plasma cannon I'll hang on to. Once again, don't know if... Like, it's 6 tons. Don't know if I'll use it, but maybe. These we're going to go ahead and get rid of. So there's almost a million sea bills right there. Beautiful. Heavy feral we'll keep. The heavy jump jets can go because we got 6. Reinforced, we have two of, so we can sell that. Uh, standard heatsink cooling kits. Look at that. We've got 10 of them. That's like a million right there. So we got wow, 1.29. Okay, not bad. AC5 ammo. 
since we got the AC5s, let's hold on to it. HVAC 20. Uh, I don't know if we're ever going to have an HVAC 20, but let's hang on to it in case we do. The rifle ammo can go, and the LBX 10 cluster I'll hang on to. In case we ever put together an LBX build again. I don't know. I don't think we will, but that's kind of a lower stage weapon, I think. But we'll have it just in case. All right. Okay, 45,000. That's really nothing. And most of that was my fault. I mean, we took a heavy hit on the... Uh, on the Warhammer. But other than that, that was uh, actually really good. And that should be a relatively quick repair. I'm bringing the Battlemaster up to the top so we don't miss any days getting that thing repaired. So it's four days for this Lance to be back because we've got the three bays working at full strength now. So four for this and then three and one and then ten days for this. So, all right, beautiful. So I am going to end this episode here, guys. Actually, before I end it, let's quickly go because we've got those two Archer parts. I'm interested to see if we had other archer... Uh, rolling the dice, rolling the dice. Oh, we got a two. Nice. Um, let's have a quick look here at the heavies. No, we, st we still have enough to put these two Warhammers together, but we don't have... I thought we had... There's the 4M. Oh, we do have two other archer parts, but I guess they're incompatible. That's compatible with the 4M, but that's not the XR. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got three pieces of an archer. So we pick up another archer. We can probably assemble this guy. So that's nice. I, you know, maybe I do retire the old archer. I don't. I'll never sell it, but maybe I'll just retire it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right. I, I knew I had archer parts. I, did, I thought we would have had enough, but I guess not. All right. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free, feel, feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.